Our planet is just part of an infinite universe. But unless you're an astronaut or best buds with Elon Musk, your chances of ever leaving Earth are negligible. That didn't stop scientists from imagining what life would be like on other planets, though. Join us as we explore what living on other planets would look and sound like. Amazing. Number 10. Mercury Mercury isn't only the closest planet to the Sun, it's also the smallest one in our solar system. With temperatures ranging from negative 195 to 800 degrees Fahrenheit and nearly constant meteorite impacts, it'd be a hard place to live. Since the Sun is 250% larger than Mercury's sky than on Earth, looking up for Mercury's surface would require some heavy-duty sunglasses. However, as there's no atmosphere, there's nothing to bring color into that brightly lit night sky, which means that most of the sky is an unobstructed view of space. As is the case in most of space, nobody can hear you scream, and that's doubly true on a planet like Mercury. But if you could hear electromagnetic waves, our galaxy would be a very noisy place, and good old NASA developed a probe to help us do just that. By converting electromagnetic vibrations from celestial bodies into sound waves, they made the chatter of space into something audible. The tone, volume, and pitch of these sounds are affected by a planet's size, speed, and composition. When pointed at Mercury, the probe sent back this. Number 9. Venus With surface temperatures averaging around 900 degrees Fahrenheit, Venus is the hottest planet in the Milky Way, and much like its namesake, the Roman goddess of beauty, it's a real stunner. But it's also under constant assault from volcanic eruptions and acid rain. Even imagining survival on this hellish planet is beyond NASA's capabilities. Venus's thick, heavy atmosphere means every movement you make would feel like you're 3,000 feet under the sea. And if you could lift your head, you'd be greeted by a sky the color of a clementine. Due to the planet's heavy cloud cover, however, you'd never get to see the stars. The sun, meanwhile, would only be visible when the atmosphere is at its thinnest. So while sound would be muffled due to its very thick atmosphere, it would be audible. Which means, unlike on Mercury, you wouldn't be stuck on a planet of mimes. While Mercury sounds like a rocket blasting off, Venus sounds more like Satan's version of the gong show. Just take a listen. Number 8. Mars Similar in size to Earth, the red planet has discernible seasons and average temperatures ranging from negative 195 to 68 degrees Fahrenheit. While NASA thinks a Mars landing is within reach, they do acknowledge that the planet's deadly levels of radiation, elevated levels of CO2, and nearly constant dust storms would be difficult to overcome. With an atmosphere just 1% the thickness of ours, Mars doesn't have much in the way of protection but it's just enough to lend its sky a bit of color. As the sun first crosses the horizon, the planet's sky is a deep royal blue. As the sun moves westward, that blue slowly slides towards a pinkish red hue. For a moment at midday, the sky will be the color of fresh lager, minus the suds. Any time after that, however, the sky is a mixture of red and burnt orange. As the planet lacks clouds, every night offers a clear view of the stars. You'd have a tough time letting out an audible wow of admiration when it came to those clear skies, however. Mars' thin atmosphere makes for a poor conductor of sound waves and reduces even the most poignant plea to a whisper. When scientists turn their electromagnetic tools towards Mars, it spits back this. Reminds me of the soundtrack to an old western flick. Number 7. Jupiter's Moon Europa First things first, you couldn't live on Jupiter. The planet is not only a hotbed of storms, but made almost entirely of gas. But scientists think that one of its moons, Europa, might be a good place for human life. With low radiation, substantial amounts of liquid water, and ample geological stability, Europa would be a great stepping stone into the galaxy. The sky on Europa would be a wondrous thing to look at. Jupiter would always be visible and take up more than 20 times the space of our moon. Occasionally, the settlers would be able to glance at one of the gas giant's other 59 moons as they swirl about the stormy planet. With a gravitational pull equivalent to our moon, Europa has no real atmosphere to speak of. Therefore, like Mercury, the sky would be little more than a panorama of space. Even though sound would travel poorly through Europa's thin atmosphere, 
Settlers might occasionally hear thunder coming off Jupiter's big red spot. For the most part, however, this moon would leave us forever trapped in a game of charades. When the NASA Voyager flew by Jupiter and its moons, it captured this. Why the heck does space sound so creepy? Number 6. Saturn's Moon Titan Because of its rings, people consider Saturn the jewel of our solar system. But like Jupiter, there's no way we could live on it. The planet's largest moon, Titan, is a different story, however. The only moon in the Milky Way with a dense atmosphere and adequate cloud cover, it's prime for human settlement. Because its surface is free of storms and cyclones, Titan is also a wonderful place for sky gazing. Looking up from one of its many hills would reveal a sky perpetually covered in a tangerine haze. Through squinted eyes, Saturn and his rings would loom heavy on the horizon. Because of its soupy atmosphere though, you'd be hard pressed to see much of anything else. Since sound waves have lots of stuff to bounce off on Titan, it'd be a very noisy place. Because this moon's atmosphere is about four times denser than ours, any noise made on it would be downright alien. When electromagnetic rays from this supermoon are converted into sound waves, you get something that sounds like this. Number 5. Uranus's Moon Miranda Let's talk about Uranus or one of its moons at least. While a few of the planet's 27 moons would be suitable for settlement, NASA scientists agree that Miranda is one of the better options. While it's bone-numbingly cold, averaging around negative 300 degrees Fahrenheit, Miranda's jigsaw landscape is ripe for exploration. This moon's lack of gravity means that there's no atmosphere to speak of, and any would-be settler would find him or herself bombarded by constant radiation. The skies of Miranda, much like Europa, would be clear of clouds and the color of freshly laid tar. While travelers might be able to see Uranus, the sun would be nothing more than a bright dot on the horizon. When it comes to communicating, the lack of an atmosphere means we're back to playing charades. As for electromagnetic frequencies, however, Uranus itself sounds like this. I was kind of hoping it'd be flatulence. Darn. Number 4. Neptune's Moon Triton As another gas planet, Neptune doesn't have much of a surface to speak of, but its largest moon, Triton, could be a potential, if not dangerous, site for human settlement. With average temperatures of nearly negative 400 degrees Fahrenheit, it's also the coldest object in the Milky Way. While Triton's atmosphere is thicker than some others on this list, it's still not enough to color the sky. While the area closest to the horizon might appear to be covered in a whitish haze, the rest of the sky would be a deep ebony. Against that nearly uninterrupted backdrop of space, Neptune would loom in the sky at a size 10 times larger than our moon. While there's something for sound to travel through on Triton, it's not dense enough to conduct anything but the loudest of noises, so we'd be stuck in a perpetual shouting match. Though the moon's surface might be quiet, its electromagnetic activity is something else. To be honest, you'll have a tough time characterizing it. Just listen. Number 3. Pluto Taking roughly 248 years to make one revolution around the sun, Pluto is a frigid, unforgiving planet. Aside from the fact that you'd face radiation and deadly temperatures, we don't know much about this planet beyond what was discovered by NASA's New Horizon, which means it's one of the places scientists are most excited to learn more about. The skies of Pluto would differ depending on when you visit it. When the dwarf planet was close to the sun, the frozen gases in its atmosphere would thaw and give rise to a thin blue haze. As the planet retreated from the sun's rays, the gases around it would refreeze and leave onlookers with nothing but dark skies. Regardless of the time of year, the sun would be little more than a dot on the horizon. Due to its flimsy atmosphere, Pluto would be a planet of maddening silence. Since that'd stop you from hearing the constant chattering of your teeth, you might think that's a blessing. Probes turned towards the planet have detected noises not unlike a helium-sucking tuning fork. Close your eyes and tell me this doesn't remind you of choir class. Number 2. Kepler 186f 
In 2014, NASA uncovered one alien planet that seemed particularly right for human habitation, Kepler-186f. While scientists have no images of the planet's sky, they're able to make some educated guesses. First, due to its sun's dimness, its sky would never be brighter than ours an hour before sunset. While we can't know much about the color of its sunrises and sunsets, we do know, due to the closeness of the sun, that they'd be crisper and more enhanced than our own. Though the other planets in the Kepler system would be just visible in the night sky, it'd be difficult to make them out due to the enhanced size and glare of the planet's sun. While we believe its gravity is strong enough to support a breathable atmosphere, we know nothing about its composition. Therefore, we can't guess at how our own voices would sound on Kepler-186f. Due to its distance, the electromagnetic recordings we've managed are kind of fate. Still sounds pretty alien, though. Number 1. Tatooine Home to both Luke and Anakin Skywalker, Tatooine is integral to the Star Wars plot lines. While this desert planet is as geographically interesting as a brown paper bag, its sky is a different story. Instead of one star, it has two. Up until recently, scientists believed that such binary systems were impossible. They thought that the competing gravitational pulls would pull the fledgling planet apart. Now, after discovering a few binary star systems, they know that they can exist. With that in mind, would they really be drained dry by the heat of two suns, as George Lucas proposed? Unless it was super close to one of its suns, scientists don't think so. While Tatooine's seasonal variations would be more severe than our own, scientists don't think it would be quite as dry as the planet seen on screen. The two suns would lessen the likelihood of cloud cover, however. This means that stunning sunsets like those seen in the first movie are possible. As to the color of the sky on a scientifically accurate Tatooine, it'd depend on the planet's atmospheric composition. If its atmosphere was made of similar gases to our own, you could expect to experience sound similarly to how we do on Earth. When asked about whether life could survive on a planet like Tatooine, Greg Laughlin, an exoplanet expert, said, I'd have to say that Tatooine is the most realistic depiction of a world in our galaxy. Looks like Jawa the Hutt is waiting for us out there. So, is there a particular moon or planet you'd love to visit one day? Or did one of those electromagnetic recordings also send shivers down your spine? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And as always, thanks for watching.